Adonis Stevenson suggested in the ring while he was doing his post fight interview that him and Badu Jack could have a rematch and he's spoken about it subsequently in various different interviews I think at the post fight press conference and all that well one of the stipulations is and obviously Jack is open to the rematch too Jack says let's run it back in Vegas or anywhere else in the world he's talked about in the UK in the United States somewhere in Europe but Jack doesn't seem keen on having a rematch in Canada but Stevenson says it has to be in Canada and apparently the reason because I was always wondering why Stevenson don't fight outside of Canada according to this article the reason that Stevenson doesn't fight in the United States because a few years ago he wanted to fight in the US he was at a point where he was getting tired of some of the negative press he was getting in Canada uh, due to some stuff outside of the ring but apparently the reason that he can't fight in the United States is because of his criminal record which you know it does make sense that Peter Fury for example couldn't be in Tyson Fury's corner when Tyson Fury fought Steve Cunningham because Peter Fury's got a criminal record in the UK so the US wouldn't let him in um, there was also an issue with Peter Fury's criminal record when he was going to go to New Zealand for Huey Fury's fight against Joseph Parker. That fight was initially supposed to be in New Zealand. So, yeah, if you do have a criminal record, particularly if it's a serious offence, there can be issues getting into a lot of countries. And that appears to be the problem for Adonis Stevenson. That criminal record is prohibiting him from travelling a lot of places and fighting. But anyway, as far as the potential rematch, you know, perhaps Badu Jack could be tempted back to Canada to take Stevenson on again. Stevenson, I think, was shocked by how tough the fight turned out to be. That's my impression. He he wasn't ready for that kind of grueling battle. And I know Stevenson likes knockouts, and I know he is, uh, you know, a very good puncher, but I was a little surprised by how easily he fell into Badu Jack's trap because everyone, virtually everyone, before the fight was saying that it's going to be Stevenson early or Badu Jack late. If it goes into the second half of the fight, Stevenson's in trouble. This is certainly what I was saying. But Stevenson somehow ignored all that and he threw a lot of punches in the first half of the fight. Punches which were not really connecting clean. I've seen Stevenson, I'm not sure if it's in this article, it might be in a different article, I've seen him talking about how in a rematch he probably needs to be smarter, and hell yeah he needs to be smarter, he needs to be a lot more cautious, he needs to box, he needs to conserve his energy, he's a 40 year old man, and he looked, he really looked his age in this fight, he really looked his age, not just in terms of getting tired in the second half of the fight, even in the first half of the fight, his movement looked like an old man his body his actual body looked old his body looked noticeably older than it did even just three four years ago physically he don't look the same so time waits for no man father time is undefeated and stevenson if he's got maybe one or two decent wins left in him he's gonna have to box smart he's gonna ha actually have to box defensively from the opening bell and just look to counter and only throw the big left when he gets an opportunity when someone makes a mistake rather than trying to force the issue because he was trying to force the issue in the early rounds against Jack he was you know marauding forward and even trying to fight Jack on the inside in spots in the early rounds throwing that left hand all over the place <laughs> you know when it wasn't really landing just wasting loads of energy at 40, you cannot afford to do that anymore. And I think Stevenson in this fight came to terms with his own mortality. And I think he's kind of conflicted because somebody said to him, was this your age catching up with you, Adonis? And he was like, no, no, it's not my age. I feel great. And it was just, um, you know, it was a tough fight. Badu Jack's a, a smart fighter. It wasn't my age. And again, he said, maybe in the rematch, he needs to be a bit more smart. But it was his age, because 
when you go back and look at Adonis Stevenson back in the days when he was fighting people like Von Farah, when he was fighting Donovan George, he was able to go 12 rounds and still have loads of energy in the second half of the fight, despite going for the knockout early in those fights. Yeah, he don't have the stamina no more. He don't have the legs no more. He's old. So, to be honest with you, he may be questioning whether he still wants to stay in the sport after a fight as tough as that, because he did not expect the fight to be that tough, clearly. His body language at the end of the fight, I mean, he was knackered at the end of the fight because he'd just been beaten up for the last six rounds. He was knackered and he just looked dejected. He looked like, wow, I didn't expect this fight to be so tough. I thought I'd be going home, you know, having knocked this guy out. I didn't think it would be a grueling affair like that. You know, so I think in a rematch, Badu Jack would start quicker in terms of applying pressure on Stevenson. But the way Badu Jack fought in this fight, even in the second half, he didn't apply relentless pressure. He picked his spots to pressure Stevenson and attack him. He didn't apply relentless pressure. So he was still wary of Stevenson's left hand, even in the second half of the fight when Stevenson was clearly knackered, clearly running on empty. But perhaps it was prudent of Badu Jack to be picking his spots and not just going all out pressure because that left hand to the body did hurt him noticeably. And that left hand probably didn't even have 50% power on it. You know? So in a rematch, Badu Jack... I, I would imagine would press the action earlier but Stevenson would be more conservative with his punches I think it, it, there's a potential it could be another close fight in a rematch because Stevenson's going to be looking to conserve energy early he's going to be looking to counter maybe rather than leading off so much um, and try and preserve his legs for longer in the fight this is how you have to fight when you're an old man <laughs> you know, you have to preserve your legs. Realize you can't throw the kind of volume you could when you were younger. That's how you have to do it. So potentially it could be a close fight again because is Badu Jack going to be any less wary of Stevenson's left hand? Badu Jack says he wasn't impressed with Stevenson's power. That could be Badu Jack deluding himself because he never got hit with Stevenson's left hand flush on the chin for the whole fight. So he says he's not impressed with it. He never got hit with it. He got hit with a, a left hand to the body. But that was late in the fight and that was when Stevenson was depleted. And he said he got hit with a few right hooks. So trust me, Stevenson's right hook is not even 50% as powerful as his left hand. Badu Jack did a very, very good job of taking Stevenson's best tool away. He took his left hand away completely. Um he may need to do just as good a job in the rematch if they have a rematch of taking Stevenson's left hand away because I still believe if Stevenson you know catches him with that left hand I'll make this thing go away if Stevenson catches him with that left hand it's going to be trouble <laughs> yeah an old man caught him with one body shot in the 10th round and hurt him what happens when that left hand catches him in the first or second round if Badu Jack gets too ambitious with full power when Stevenson's still fresh. I'm telling you, Jack's going to be in trouble. Um, so I'd like to see a rematch. I think it would be interesting. But is Buddy Jack willing to travel to Canada again, given the fact that he thinks he got he was hard done by? I don't think he was hard done by. How can he say he was hard done by? He didn't do anything for the first half of the fight. And it was Stevenson coming forward. And Stevenson throwing the majority of the shots. Neither of them was really landing anything clean, but at least Stevenson was forcing the action and trying to do something, whereas Badu Jack was literally doing nothing in the first half of the fight. I gave him one of the first six rounds, and most of the other uh, people out there had the same, even boxing scene. They did a scorecard for the fight, which I can leave a link to in the description. Boxing scene scored it a draw. A lot of people scored it a draw. So this, you know, Badu Jack acting like he was hard done by and he was robbed. It's BS, man. It's BS. It was a fair result. Uh, the scorecards were fair. You know, uh, one of them had Badu Jack winning by two rounds. I can't argue with that. The other two had it 114. You, you can't argue with that. If Badu Jack had started earlier 
he would have won the fight. You know, because uh, I think he Stevenson was done. I think after the fourth, to be, to be honest with you, the fifth and sixth, Paddy Jack could have stepped on the gas in those rounds. Um, and also, that tenth round when Paddy Jack got caught with a body shot, he gave that round away. Then, understandably, because he was hurt to the body, but still, if that incident hadn't happened, again, Paddy Jack would have won. Paddy Jack would have won a unanimous decision. So I, I don't see, you know, this victim mentality from Jack acting like he's hard done by in this fight. No, 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 no. In the Lucian Butte fight, yeah, that was some BS. And I called it at the time. The James the Gale fight, mm, I mean, maybe, maybe Barry Jack was slightly hard done by, but again, I, I don't know. It, it was a pretty close fight. But this Stevenson fight, no. I've seen very few people complaining about the scores simply because Badu Jack did nothing in the first six rounds. He just did any, didn't do anything. A member of my Facebook boxing group actually, he cracked me up when he said that uh, Badu Jack forgot that he was allowed to throw punches for the first six rounds <laughs> against Stevenson. That pretty much sums it up. He didn't do anything. So, and he kind of admitted in the post fight interview with Steve Gray that, uh, he maybe didn't step on the gas soon enough. You know. Anyway, let me know what you think about a potential Stevenson Badu Jack rematch. It would have to take place in Canada because of Stevenson's criminal record. Um how do you see it going? Do you think it's even a good idea for Stevenson to take the rematch if Badu Jack's willing to fight in Canada again? Personally, I really think Stevenson needs to reassess. You know, does he need it anymore at forty years old? He says he turned pro at 29 and so that's the reason he still thinks he's got years left in him. I disagree. I disagree. I think up until the age of 37, Stevenson was still pretty formidable. You know, he was still pretty formidable. But when you reach your late 30s, you really can age overnight. And to me, it looks like Stevenson's aged overnight. And a fight like that, as tough as the Baddy Jack fight was, that's a fight that can age you even more. Because he took a lot of headshots in the fight. You know, uh, that, that can really aid you. That is going to damage Stevenson far more than it damages Badu Jack. Because Badu Jack never really took any headshots in the fight. Very few. You know, a few body shots, a few half blocked headshots, but no real damaging headshots. And he's a lot younger than Stevenson. So Steven, that's going to put a lot more miles on Stevenson's clock than it will on Badu Jack's clock. And actually that's maybe a reason why you'd have to favor Badu Jack in a rematch because it may not be the same Stevenson in the rematch it may be a, a, a deteriorated version of Stevenson because of the punishment he took in the first fight so retrospectively yeah maybe maybe you would have to favor Jack because of the punishment the 40 year old man took so uh, yeah anyway let me know how you feel about everything I've talked about in the video in the comment section below alright it's happening I'm out